Alright you guys, for this experiment what I did was I scuffed up the mirrors for the print bed for the CR10. Now I used two different types of grit. For this one, I used a 320 grit which is a much finer sandpaper and then this one was a 120 so you guys can see the difference. This one, as you can see, it's much more pronounced, the, uh, the scuff marks. Um, I've put some Windex on it and I've um, cleaned it up. And this one, the marks are not as pronounced because it's such a fine sandpaper. Alright, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print some stuff on it, see how the adhesion goes, and I'll let you guys know. Alright? So now we're going to print the Pikachu that I have from Thingiverse right on this bed. This one's the 320 grit um, sandpaper bed. So let's see what it does. As far as adhesion goes, hopefully I level this good enough. All right, so let's see. All right, so far, it's sticking. Looks pretty good. No tape. Keep going up. Looks like there's no problems there. A little bit of stringing. This is at 10% uh, infill, by the way. A 0.25 layer height print for the resolution. Um, I did add supports to it because the file of the Pikachu has some overhangs and he or she, I'm not really sure if Pikachu is a he or a she, is on all fours. So I need some supports there. Right. Looks good so far for for the in for uh, the bottom. So we're gonna keep printing on this bed with the 320 grit scuff, but so far it looks pretty damn good. So there you have it, guys. On the next video, we're gonna test the uh, the 120 grit, which is sitting right there. We're going to test it out on that for the next one. Um, and we'll see if we can level that out. And another last look on it. Looking good so far. And it's done. Look at that. Clean. Everything adhered. We'll do a little, a few more prints on this bed to see if the uh, scuffing works. So after that we're going to test the 120 grit sandpaper scuffed and then we'll see how that performs. Alright so in our last test was the uh, finer grit sandpaper, it was a 320 I believe if I'm not mistaken. Um, this one is the finer one at 120 so what we're going to do is we're going to test this bed now. Uh, I just leveled it with the paper method right here, again this is a Creality CR10. 3D printer, uh, giant bed, love this printer. Um, to be honest, I think this is the best in the market. If you guys want to grab it, there should be some links below. If not, grab it from Chris from Tiny Machines. Those guys are awesome. Paid the extra money if you guys uh, want zero headaches. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna print something and we're gonna test how it's going to stick. So as you guys can see, there's been no adhesion problems right it's all sticking so far so these are all my my, my stock uh, um, settings for simplify 3d which is um, three bottom layers three top layers 0.2 millimeter height um, re resolution um, I'd rather have a quality print than a fast print to be honest you guys less post processing later Again, this bed is the one that's been sanded down with a 120 grit sandpaper. Uh, I hope you guys saw that. You see how fast and how smooth it comes off when you guys take the prints off. Um, we'll go back to that later also, showing you guys how fast and how easy the prints come off. You don't have to scrape and stab yourself with your, with your putty knives. Anyway, these are the... Um, 
the sandpaper that I got. This one's the 320 that I got at Home Depot. This is for this thing right here. And then this is the 120 grit sandpaper that I got also from Home Depot. These are were from my Peppa Cure days. Anyway, so that's, um, it has it doesn't seem to have much of a, a difference between adhes adhesion with the 320 grit and the War 20 grit. So it doesn't matter which one you get, I guess. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you what exactly to do to your bed because I sanded these um, methodically, if you will. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how I did that while this prints in the background. You guys will see how smooth and how easy these come off um, when it comes to uh, taking it out because I have experiences with um, painter's tape and the stock tape that came with it from Chris at Tiny Machines. And man, it is a son of a bitch to take off. So I'm gonna show you guys that right now. All right, all right, check out the Multimander. I'm gonna guys, show you guys how fast, how easy these pop off on a glass bed. You ready? Done, see, easy. They come off, they pop right off. Look at that. So that again is on a 120 grit um, sanded bed. Perfect adhesion, level of bed one time, never have to do it again, done. So here's another print on the rougher bed that I've sanded down with the 120 grit sandpaper. I printed out the Hand of the King file that you can find over on Thingiverse. I love this machine, look at the detail on this thing. Dear Lord, I love it. So you guys can see how easy this pops off. You see that? Fresh off the printer pops right out easy look at that beautiful you don't have to fight with a bed i only leveled this again just one time i never had to touch it again and i've been printing on it for about a week now so yeah okay so here's um what we're going to be doing we're going to sand the tile so this is the tile mirror tile that i got i got this at lowe's um, it was 10 bucks. It's 12 inches by 12 inches. It fits perfectly on your bed for your CR10. You don't have to do any measurements, any cutting, anything like that. It's perfect. It gets right on there. Um, when you take it out, take it out though. Please be careful. These edges are sharp, um, uh, and especially the corners, and, and you don't want to cut yourself. So, um, it is 110 degrees right now out here in the Bay Area, and. I want to do this video so I can get it out because I remember how frustrated I was when I first started printing and I just want to make sure that you guys have no adhesion problems and that's one less thing because a lot of people um, what I saw in the CR10 user group was adhesion like how do I get it's, it's not sticking nothing sticking nothing sticking and I found this and I saw it and I was like man I'm never going back the prints come off perfectly um, on the uh, on the machine um, I don't have to fight with the bed or, or, or the glass or anything at all. I level it one time and that's it. I don't touch it, I just print. I don't spend 10 minutes leveling every single time that I have to print. So, <laughs> there's any, any worth to you guys, right? Anyway, so for this what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing, yes, you can see my phone is on a dog kennel. I don't have a tripod, I lost it, I don't know where it is. Anyway, you're going to make four pronounced um, directions for the uh, for the glass tile, okay? You're gonna put this on the table and you're gonna go this way, that way, diagonally, and the other way diagonally, okay? So you're gonna make little octagons on your, <laughs> it's so embarrassing with the kennel, <laughs> four octagons on your glass tile, okay? So you're just, you're not gonna go scratch it, you're just gonna go, you're gonna swipe it, okay? You're gonna take it, okay? You're gonna take it, and you're gonna s slide it down, okay? It's gonna take a while, okay? It's gonna take a while, but you're just gonna slide it down like that. I hope you guys can see, I'm not very good at making videos. But I hope this helps somebody out. You see how it's going? I hope you guys can see that line. That line, right? And you're just gonna go this way, 
So you're going to have a cross, and you're going to do it this way. You have diagonal, and you're going to do it this way, which is the, also the opposite of the diagonal. So what you're going to end up having is something like this. Now this one isn't as clean. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to scuff it up. All right? And so there you have it, you guys. That's it. That's really it. I, I level my bed one time forever. And I don't have to mess with it ever again. Oh my God, it is so hot. Um, and that's it. If you guys like this video, please uh, like, um, share with everybody. I, if this helped you guys out at all, I hope it did. Uh, my next video is going to be on post-processing. We're going to do an experiment, or I'm going to do an experiment with Plasti Dip, um, filler primer, and a fiberglass resin. So, again, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Peace.